All right, the helmet is finished. The VR goggles are mounted in. Everything's working. I've got my uh, really nice headset ingrained into this thing. It took forever to mill everything down and get it all fitting, but it is uh, pretty much all here. I had to cut a groove all the way across the top to drop the headphones in. And uh, you can see the four inside out bolts holding the VR set on and everything is just about where I want it here's the inside we've got uh, padding put inside on top of the helmet the mounting is all there everything is flush it actually um, holds the weight all the way across the top of your head instead of on the back strap and the forehead although I'm still gonna counterbalance the back end I ended up having to, um, sorry about this, kind of notch and cut the back of the helmet off so that this slider would fit back here. It actually dropped down a little farther than I would have liked. And then I had to, um, if you can kind of see in there, I ended up having to mill out the inside with a drill press and basically a lot of different porting tools to get this to kind of recess into the actual helmet so I could mount it in here and uh, I had to expand it out the back because I have uh, obviously a big fat head and this thing fits like a glove it's comfortable the uh, VR set hangs just where I want it and the whole thing the um, helmet cost 20 bucks so I was able to really get this whole thing comfortable without that forehead pad just you know, <laughs> leaving permanent marks on my forehead and creating a big zit farm up there. Um, and that's it. This is it, guys. It works really good. I'll take another video when my son gets here with these on me, and we'll go from there.